No, it was not to say the least. Now, Kelly pleaded not guilty to several charges, including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and reckless endangerment. But like you said, that plea didn't come very easy. On several occasions, he stated that he was not happy with the counsel that was given to him. Judge, we did receive a copy of the information in the affidavit. We'll waive a formal reading of that. The 24 hour rule, the other rule. I, I didn't agree to any of this, Judge, so I have no idea why she's speaking to me. Like, we didn't discuss any of this. I have no idea why she's saying that we're waiving uh, okay. affidavit. Mm -hmm. Like, this is, this is not counsel. You know, counsel would tell me what it is that she wants to do. That was the first time of several instances Daniel Kelly interrupted the judge. I think, Mr. Kelly, for you to reach a conclusion that. Ms. Jordan and her firm can't help you. These are very serious charges, so I would well, encourage you to, whoops, try yeah. not to interrupt me, please. It's alleged that on Tuesday night, Kelly confronted three people at an apartment complex on Pleasant Street in Newport. The victims involved say he was wearing full camo and had an assault rifle. The charges that he's facing currently are pointing a loaded assault rifle at three individuals and using the laser to point it at them and threatening to shoot them. The affidavit also alleged Kelly had an assault rifle, shield, helmet, and fatigues when law enforcement arrived. He then shut the door on police. They used uh, tear gas. At some point, the defendant let his dogs out. Can, can I just say that everything that she's saying now has nothing to do with the crime that I'm accused of, which is the, what is it, the aggravated, uh, I don't know, aggravated assault? Okay, and, so. and I would also say that Corpus Delicti is going to demand that it be proven that there was some aggravated assault that occurred, but obviously it didn't, and I have so. been overcharged, prosecutor, have I not? Over the course of the almost nine-minute arraignment, Kelly did enter a plea. No, uh, I, I would just be wholly innocent, and if you want to call that not guilty, then mm -hmm. that's fine. Now, the judge has ordered a competency test to be given to Mr. Kelly, but for now, he's being held without bail in jail. Live in Newport, Jennifer Sheehan, NBC5 News.